I am in Svalbard. And my plan is to film and photograph one of the toughest animals and birds on the planet. I want to show how they can cope with the harsh winter that this island provides. The challenge today is that the weather forecast is not that good. It's quite windy and it's going to blow a lot more today. We are now being to Svalbard for one day. And today our plan is to drive scooters into the wild without any roads. But the forecast predicted for the next two, three days was a heavy storm. And that could put a stop to our scooter trip in risk of seeing nothing ahead of us. Good to go. Almost two hours of driving, it was really good to have some lunch. Nice, really nice. Nothing to complain about with this perfect view of this remote island here. It was time to try to get our first pictures. Yeah. Almost 10 tarmacans on a little spot here, so we just have to go around them. This is awesome. Just hope they don't fly away. Just have to come a little bit further before I take my backpack off in a hurry. Okay, I'm good to go. Good to go. It doesn't look like they have too much to eat, but still they find food in the small fields that the wind have blew away. flew away but I think I can hear the fox
at jeg hørte reven oppi det stemmer det, eller hva? Det kan stemme, for det er igjen så får du gryl oppi her. I hvert fall lagt det noe voldsomme lyd, i hvert fall. Ja. Vi hadde ikke sett fox, men det var ikke tid til å løse håp. Vi var lykkelig å se flere ptarmigans, og besluttet å spende litt mer tid med dem. Her. Her er det en... Ja, det er veldig bra. Og vinden startet å pikke opp. Og nå kan vi få litt interessante, kjøle imager og vise hvordan bjørnene overleve disse hårde konditioner. The ptarmigan in Svalbard is a tough bird and is built for this kind of condition here. It's 40% larger than the mainland rock ptarmigan. It's cool to see how their feet is built to walk upon the snow with large feet and covered with feathers. The wind is blowing like crazy. So it's a neat, really nice weather. With photography though, I'm so so nice to see how the birds are almost unaffected by this kind of high wind though. The tree males there, they are not afraid of us. Even though we are sneaking a little bit around, they are not affected by our presence at all. So, <sighs> so, so nice. You can barely see the tarm again it's in the snowstorm. With that totally white out, you can. I have to point my autofocus directly on the black spots between the eyes and the beak, and then it finds some contrast. And it's in these kind of situation actually, it's good that the Nikon are the contract-based autofocus system. In front of us there is six reindeers. Unfortunately they are not that trusty with us so we have a distance of maybe 200 meters but I don't care. It's reindeer in snowy blizzard and with the Nikon 600 millimeter built-in teleconverter I can get a lot closer. So yeah this is so nice. Well, as I walked to, to the reindeers I saw some some uh, ptarmigans and I'm going to see if I can get something of the ptarmigans in the snow blizzards as well before I call it a day. So come on, let's go over there.
looks quite cold probably but it's nothing more than a couple of degrees below so it's not that cold but here are the ptomagans so let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the ptomagans there Nice, all good. Yes, best snowstorm ever. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Beautiful conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're hard to focus though. Yeah. It's long days in the field, so it's good to gain our strength with some food, fill our water bottles, and then go out again. We have not lost our hope for the fox. Therefore, we decided to spend a lot of hours waiting for the fox with the hope that will come by us. The plan today is to spend the whole day looking for the Arctic fox again. And as I'm speaking here, you can see the reindeer is up the slope there. Right about there. And you also get a couple of snow bumpings between the rocks so it's quite idyllic oh look uh, it's not too cold though even though it's blowing like crazy so but off we go Even though it was this kind of weather we hoped for photographing the fox, it was not easy to spot one. Especially when it's totally white out. But we found a little shelter for the snowstorm. Waiting for hours in these harsh conditions, that is a hard test. We had to keep moving our body, not to freeze.
and marked in one of the guides was definitely having his portion of snow inside his lens. Suddenly this little fella showed up. But unfortunately he wasn't too curious about us and decided to walk away. Suddenly we had to rush up the hill. We saw a fox further up, heading our way. What an experience, what an experience. We just had a fox running past us. It was a couple of meters. It was so hard to vlog while I hope you caught it on, a, on the vlogging camera, but I'm not sure it all happens too fast though. Let's see what I got. It's so beautiful, it's so pretty. Oh. Oh, I cannot wish for more. It was 
so nice to see the fox again after a couple of these. After a long day in field with like so much snow exposed from my eyes, I kind of, I kind of have like itchy eyes though. Ha 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 ha!